Hey guys, let's quickly do a video on how to back up your presets just in case um, they end up for whatever reason you get a glitch, you lose all your presets and you need to get them back. It's happened in WLED. It's happened to me. It's happened to someone else I know um, where you just randomly get an error on your presets and they're all they're all gone. Um, when that just in case that happens, it's always good to just back them up just in case it happens to you. Yeah, I know presets take a long time to set up and you'd hate to lose them all. So let's just quickly go through how to back them up. That way, if it happens to you, you can just restore them and you'll be back up and running in no time. The only catch to this is you need to do it from a computer um, connected to the same Wi-Fi as your controller. So if you have those things, then you can follow along and we'll quickly show you how to back those up. So you see I have presets here on the right. I don't have a whole bunch, but we don't need a bunch for this demonstration. Just go into your configurations, go to security and updates at the bottom, scroll down. You can see here you got um, backup and restore. So you can back up your presets. So all you need to do is just click backup presets. It'll download a file to your download folder right there. So you can save that wherever you want. You can move it into a folder just to just so you know where it is. You don't lose it. Now, let's say you lost all your presets. You come back to the same page. You click, you click choose file, go to your downloads, and you'll see your preset folder. Click on it and then hit upload like that. It says file uploaded, and then you gotta hit save and reboot. So click that. Your controller will quickly reboot. Usually it doesn't take very long. It happens pretty quick. There, now it's rebooted. And you should have all your presets back to where they were, and that error should be gone. Also, one other thing, um, we can also run through how to back up. Seeing as we were in there, we might as well go back and show you how to back up all of your configuration data. So your configuration is everything but your Wi-Fi um, password. It won't save that, it won't save your Wi-Fi name and password, but um, if you look here in your preferences, all of this data here, your LED outputs, this is all pre-configured by us for your controller to run our lights. So for whatever reason, say you're, you know, you get a glitch or something happens and all this data gets wiped out, it's gonna go back to default settings and the lights aren't gonna work. You can manually go back in and set all this stuff up, which I'll show you in another video, but the easier way to do it would be to just back it up, save it somewhere, and if you ever, you know, something ever happens to your chip, you can go security and updates and say the whole, everything just quit working, just doesn't seem to wanna work. You can do a factory reset. So you can hit, check this box and hit save and reboot and it'll wipe, wipe it clean. You'll start with a fresh version of WLED. Then you can go in, set your Wi-Fi back up quick and then come back to here. So if I back up my configurations, which you just click it, it downloads your configuration file there. You go to that, click choose file, you know, click on it and upload it after you've, you know, done a full wipe of your controller, upload it and then all your settings will be back. And then you can also restore your presets as well. And you'll be back up to exactly where you were within a few minutes. Um, hopefully it never happens to you, but you know, things do happen. They are computers they glitch. So if that happens and you're really struggling with it, send us a message. We can help you guys out or leave a comment or just get in touch with us somehow. We can help you get up and running again. Worst case scenario, if it's completely shot, we'll send you out a brand new controller. I uh, hope that helps you out. Thanks. Bye.